Hello everyone, welcome back to Tim with Tomes and Tales. Today, I'm reviewing the short manga series, Azamanga Dayo, created by Kiyohiko Azuma. Now, I don't read much manga, but this one was an awesome riot. I picked up this little four-volume series years ago when I worked for a book and entertainment retailer and instantly loved this gut-busting laugh fest. We follow a group of teenage girls through their high school careers. There's Chio, the child prodigy, Kagura, the athlete, Sakaki, the quiet fan of all things cute and cuddly, Osaka, the spacey but lovable nut, Yomi, the mother hen of the group, and Tomo, the energetic wildcat. Throw in a few eccentric teachers and watch the hilarity ensue. This is a slice of life series, but one heavy on comedy and not so much drama. There's no big plot other than friendship and growing up. Most of it is told in a four box f format, similar to those that we saw in newspaper comic strips like Garfield and Peanuts. But each volume also has a section that uses the traditional manga style layouts as well. Nothing is ever perfect though, and I could tell there were times when the English translator struggled with the material to have a unique Japanese cultural references make sense to an English speaking audience. One of the students has an accent and the translator used a Northeast American accent in, in the manga series, uh, but in the anime, uh, the seri that anime series used a Southern American accent for the translation, both of which would be foreign to the original version. So that was just a minor criticism of mine. The bigger issue was the series left me wanting more. I didn't want it to end. However, I will say it was a perfect ending in my opinion, and I hope you give it a chance if you can find this little series. Thank you again for joining me on my review. Please hit like and subscribe if you want to help out the channel, or check out my novel, Baltimore City. It can be found on Amazon. Stay safe, everyone, and happy reading.